well, I've been using Scopus for a very long time, so it's actually hard to think of really distinct things that I've uh, used that change the way I approach research. But I suppose in terms of research, one of the continuing parts of Scopus that really influences me is the ability to sort papers in terms of the number of citations they've accrued. So I can always see the kind of material that's really being referred to a lot. So that for me is really important. And I get the impression amongst my colleagues who use uh, this search, they also value the idea that citations and usage of material is very much at the forefront. And naturally they like the idea of their searches then branching out and then getting immediate access to that material. So that's, that's what I, I think of in terms of um, a purely research context. However, recently, I would say my interest is much more in the area of administration, uh, in the area of um, journal analysis, in terms of editorial policy and things like that. And recently, we've used Scopus quite heavily for checking um, uh, examiners who might be examining PhDs where we don't want any conflict of interest, so we're very rapidly able to use the author tool to look at potential conflicts of interest, and that's been very, very valuable. And again, the other use that I've really uh, found very, very positive recently is an ability to analyze the, the, the bibliometric structure of given journals to see what's happening with those journals and how they work, and that, again, has been a, a very useful thing I've used Scopus for recently.